Today, on the 3rd of June, we had a big conference in Ecuador, in Quito. This is our first conference in Ecuador, and I'm glad that it was so successful. We had over 200 people in the hall, and there were so many interesting speakers who talked about the achievements of the project, about the real application of Slavanka technology, and of course about the facts in numbers that everyone was waiting for. We opened a national representation in Ecuador together with Massimiliano Rossini. And since the opening, our results in Ecuador have doubled. So we can say that the work is fruitful, successful and of high quality. I spoke today about what we and our project can be proud of, what stages and milestones we have passed in order to reach the current stage of project implementation. And I tried to show how much the project has grown and how much it has changed since our first trip to Latin America, when we organized the conference in Peru, and I think we succeeded. We arrived a few days before the conference, and during that time we had a large number of different meetings. We had formal as well as informal meetings. Somewhere we just had dinner together, and somewhere we made presentations to big investors and potential partners of Solar Group. We also spoke to professors and students at one of the technology universities. There was a lot of interest. Andrei Lobov shared detailed information about the technology and how it can be applied in practice today. There is a lot of interest in Ecuador in the project, in the Slavanka combined winding technology, as well as in the business, based on this technology and on electric motors. Andrei Lobov received a great many useful contacts and a great number of agreements were reached, on the basis of which there are already real projects that can be implemented here in Ecuador. Moreover, the boat motor has already been tested. Andrei Lobov, together with his partners from Ecuador, tested the motor on the lake, and it had an excellent performance. Andrei also got some interesting contacts and suggestions when he was speaking to students and professors at the university. They are currently building their own electric car and want to apply to the government for government support for their project. They have expressed a desire to use our motors, which I think is a very interesting area to work on. To celebrate the conference in Ecuador, we launched a promotion called Regional Bonus. As part of this promotion, every investor can buy a new investment package or increase their existing investment package and receive 20% more investment shares than are offered in this package as standard in the current 18th stage. There are also many other interesting possibilities within the scope of this promotion. For example, it is possible to restore a cancelled installment without any additional conditions. One of the most interesting offers is the possibility to increase your closed investment package. Normally this cannot be done, but we were very much asked for it, and as part of the original bonus, we went out of our way to accommodate investors from Ecuador. So take advantage of it if you are already an existing investor and increase your investment in the project. At the end of our event we held a lottery, in which we planned to draw 10 gifts of $100 each, crediting this money to your back office balance, and it is then available for investment, to purchase packages or pay installments. But the contest went so well, people were so excited about what was going on, that we decided to choose another 11th winner. I think this is a very good practice, and we will continue to do this in other countries. Today's conference was indeed particularly warm, and apart from the standard serious questions, there were a lot of smiles and congratulations. And this was because one of the speakers of the event, Andrei Lobov, an engineer and entrepreneur from Russia, had a birthday on the 3rd of June, the day of the conference. He was congratulated. People came up and hugged him, kissed him, shook his hands, shouted happy birthday. And of course at the end we gave him a gift and a cake. And that created a special atmosphere at the event that we probably had never had before. I wish the partners from Ecuador to keep up the pace. Indeed, the results show that the team knows how to work. They know how to show results. And I'm sure that Ecuador has everything ahead of it. I wish you good luck and wish you get even better results. And we, the Solo Group team, 
we will always be there to help you.